This video is showing how to do Scraffito with acrylic paint. Scraffito is um, a technique that's done often in your 3D class. So if you haven't done Enter to 3D, this will be new. If you have, you might have might recognize this. But it's where you scrape away a layer of a medium from another, a top of another one. So I am already have laid down a layer of yellow and before you can do scraffito you need your bottom layer to be completely dry so this layer is completely dry now I touch it nothing comes off and I'm going to lay down another layer right on top of it a layer of green and I'm going to make this rather thick so that you don't see the yellow coming through so it might be quite a bit of paint on there And we'll leave some of the yellow showing um, on the sides that you can see what was underneath it, just for this demonstration. And I'm going to get this down relatively flat, so you still can see kind of some paint strokes, um, which is fine for now. And then I'm going to take a palette knife. Um, your classroom will have several different types of palette knives. Some will be plastic. Um, I have some metal ones in my room, um, but you'll need a more pointy one, that has like a pointy end, and you're going to use this kind of like as a drawing tool, and you're going to scrape away some of the green to show the yellow underneath. So I'm just going to start by just kind of scraping away some of the green on top. And you can start doing this to like kind of in a hatching or cross hatching motion but you want to wipe off your paintbrush your um, palette knife sorry um, as you scrape paint away and you can kind of get like a some finer lines And just like with drawing, when you did a scraping with oil pastel, um, the more you scrape away, the more of the color that's underneath will show, which in my version, it is yellow, so it'll be lighter, where I scrape away more. So this is a good way to get a textural effect, or to, if you're better a more drawing oriented person this could be a way to add some drawing effect into things to kind of get more of a drawer drawerly feel but it really is a good way to get more texture to have finer lines so this might be an end technique for you say you have you really need to get some like fine lines into your drawing or into your painting um, but you um, can't really do it with paint brushes. This is a good way to have that as an element in your painting. And the best thing is, if you mess up, you take a paintbrush and wipe right over it.